A startup is like uh, jumping off a cliff and having to build the airplane as, as you're falling. Since 2005, the Satarja Center for Entrepreneurship and Technology at UC Berkeley has inspired entrepreneurs and innovators to positively change the world. Its acclaimed Berkeley method of instruction takes students on a journey to leverage proven frameworks, build their networks and ecosystem, and shift toward a growth mindset. It's hard, maybe impossible, to script out the creation of companies. You can't say, I'm going to take this person and that person and we're going to result in, you know, startup C, right? Becoming a broad thinker, being more um, diverse in your experiences and your intellectual background, that's a risk management activity. Well, I graduated with a PhD in computer science in 1984, and my, my dream job was to go to Bell Labs Research in Murray Hill, and I was able to do that. Was really happy at Bell Labs, but then one year, literally, I just woke up over Christmas vacation and said, you know, the world is passing me by, and I think that's a great opportunity. So in, in late 90, into 91, I, I joined Synopsys, where I was for seven years, and was really enjoying that when I uh, got the opportunity, literally what was clear to me at the time, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to join uh, University of California Berkeley, the ECS department here. And my student, uh, Brian Cantanzaro, was the first person to show the potential for GPUs or graphic processing units to accelerate machine learning that became very, very influential. We filled the whiteboard with ideas, you know, everything from insurance adjusters to intelligent rooms to quality control and assembly line to robotics and so forth. Unbeknownst to us, uh, every major automotive manufacturer and tier one supplier was thinking, okay, great, uh, if we could only afford a GPU rack in the trunk, we could put some pretty exciting capabilities into a car but how do we put this all on, say, 5 to 10 watts in a, in a com commercial passenger vehicle? And then as we presented our work, we went, well, that's exactly how we can do that. I tallied up, wow, looks like, you know, 36,000 people a year die in traffic accidents in the United States, a million worldwide. If we can reduce that, that's a lot of impact. So that was, that was I think, you know, the final thing which, which made me really willing to, to, to jump in and create deep skill. You know, within weeks of incorporation, we had uh, autonomous vehicle companies uh, as well as automotive OEMs, you know, cold calling us about uh, engaging with us. We were able to raise venture capital quickly because we contrasted well with, with, with the academic groups that kind of said, well, uh, we're experts in AI for computer vision, you know, worship us. We were very customer uh, impact focus, but the customer has to be like taking it out of your hand. They've got to be asking questions like, um, how soon can I get this? This is the most amazing time in history. You know, never, never before in history has one individual been able to have so much impact. Not even if you, you know, had some tremendous inheritance or if you were a a prince or something, you know, technology amplifies the potential of any individual so much that I just, anyone who hears this, I just hope you, you know, make the most of that.